Can you expect for your arm muscles and shoulders to blow up? No. And if they do on 677, that's water. What is up, everyone? It's Roos. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907. Check out 1907 Keep on code Russo. ASMR spritz noises, intelligent elephant carbon, coupon code Russo. If you want this hoodie that's embroidered, young LA code Russo. All other discounts and plug sources in the pinned comment down below. Today, I'm going to be ranting about expecting too much from MK677 only or any GH only in general. So the GH pathway, hyperplasia pathway, the recovery pathway is very, you know, elusive especially for people you know first getting into peds biohacking whatever it may be they think you know andrew if you do gh you're just gonna blow up the androgens paired with gh cause you to blow up the gh just causes hyperplasia more replication of cells the androgen steroid SARMs, pro hormones they actually grow the size of the cells it's like with mk677 only especially as a full-blown natty i see a lot of problems right number one you could disrupt your hormones you could cause prolactin based gyno which would then cause a feedback loop that would suppress your natural testosterone it's just like people go on 677 thinking that they're gaining a ton of new muscle tissue when in reality it's water and glycogen and they're just overall ruining their insulin sensitivity because i get a lot of questions like the tiktok information which i've made videos which andrew will throw up where i go against the tiktokers on 677 it's something that you want to take note that being said i wanted to paint the other side of the picture here because we're based here and that 677 or just gh only will result in better sleep and better recovery better better hair, skin, and nails, as well as overall injury recovery, right? That's going to be dramatically sped up. That's what you can expect. Can you expect to put on tons of tissue without synthetic androgens? No. Can you expect for your arm muscles and shoulders to blow up? No. And if they do on 677, that's water. That's water. That's not muscle. That's water. So quit thinking that if you stop taking 677, that's just not going to all fall off. That's like where I really want to, you know, point it out because if you have someone who's so scared of fucking with their HBTA, right, their hormone system and shutting it off or fucking with it could potentially never recover fully after one introduction of synthetic androgens in certain individuals. They think, oh, okay, well, I'll just stay away from androgens and I'll just do GH and I'm too scared to pin. So I'll do, you know, a secretagog like 677. And then that's super safe. That's not impacting my natural testosterone. Wrong. It is. And that I'm going to gain like growth hormone like effects. I'm going to get bigger. You're going to get better recovery. You're going to be able to train harder and recover cover from it you're going to get a little bit more water retention glycogen on cycle you're going to be able to sleep better and you're overall going to have a faster healing time with injuries is it any way shape or form comparable to combining synthetic androgens in the androgen pathway creating a super physiological androgenic environment in your body and then pairing it with a growth hormone pathway to cause cell replication at a faster rate, aging you faster, but also creating new actual muscle cells that will grow in size from the super physiological androgen intervention. No, it's not even close. You really have to take into consideration that we need to have the truth out there. We can't be on TikTok stating all this bullshit and then people going around parroting it. It's gone out of hand. And I hope you guys learned something. I will see you guys in my next video.